gerade. Hallo. Oh, no. oh. Oh. Oh, wait. I need to make like a, a multi-stream setup thing. Still. I'll figure I'll gonna figure it out. I'll gonna figure it out. My bad. Um anywho, hello guys! Hi! How are we doing today? Um, can you guys see me? Hear me? Alright? We all good? I don't know why. I feel like multi-streaming is like I'm always like, can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Um Anywho, hello. Um, I'm about to do a photo shoot or something. Um, no, honestly, I just was like, well, I don't know. I well, I did my hair, so I was like, oh, I kind of wanna like get dressed up since I did my hair today. And then I was like, well, I'm only gonna be doing just chatting, and it's gonna be kind of short. So I was like, maybe I'll wear a dress. So then I decided to wear this dress because <laughs> I've never worn this dress before. This dress is new. I kind of got it for like summertime, summertime vibes. Like it's giving, it's giving summer brunch. Maybe not brunch, brunch is a little fancy. Like casual summertime lunch outfit, you know? <laughs> but yeah, um, how are you guys doing today? Maybe I will do a photo shoot in this. Exclamation socials, hee 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 hee. Um, but how's everyone doing today? Happy, what's today? Happy, happy, happy. What? Brain fart Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, hope you guys are all having a fantastic Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day, which will be our focus segment. Tee -hee. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out and chatting today. So I saw someone ask how, how short is a short stream? Usually like two hours. So I'll probably be streaming for like two-ish hours. Um, just because I have, I'm gonna go over to one of my D&D friends. Um, we're gonna have a little sewing session cause I bought a cosplay for C2E2, which is this weekend. Um, and it, it fits, like I get fits, but I don't know, I'm like a little short and it's like a skirt. So the skirt is kind of weird. I don't know. So basically I need to hem the skirt or alter it in some way to try and make it fit me better. So I'm going to be going over to a friend's later tonight to, to do that because I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> but meanwhile, homegirl is out here making her own cosplay from scratch. So I feel like she, so I figured she would be able to help me hem something a little bit. And she said that she was down. It's actually going to be my first time. Well, I guess I invited my D&D friends to my birthday party, but tech, besides my birthday party, it'll be my first time like hanging out with them outside of just D&D, so I'm kind of hype. Um, thank you for commenting on my play video today for the late Earth Day. Oh, I know, I realized I should have posted the pictures that I post on Instagram. I should have posted those on like Earth Day. Should have posted those yesterday. The ones of me hiking, you know? Um, hello, Damo, hello, hello. Um, Got some Mio. Got some Mio water. Oh my god, and I just spill it. And I just spilled it all over myself. Fun. Fun. So fun. When she's clumsy. Tee hee. <laughs> Sorry, I am in a goofy mood. Kaylee lacking wife skills. Um, I'm actually trying to obtain wife skills, so I'm going over there so that way she can teach me. I have a sewing machine and everything. Also, by the way, I'm wearing shorts under here, okay, before anyone gets any crazy ideas okay these are shorts these are shorts um but <laughs> what was i gonna say i'm trying to acquire sewing skills okay that's the thing but i don't know i got a sewing machine basically i got a sewing machine and i have never been able like i don't know i i can't figure out how to like set it up with like, there's like the upper, you have to like thread the top of the machine and then you have to thread the bottom and I can't figure out how to do the lower threading. So I'm gonna go over to my friends tonight. I'm gonna see her whole little setup and whatnot. And then hopefully that will gain me knowledge so that I can set up my own sewing machine and whatnot. But in a perfect world, I would be able to make my own clothes. I mean, how cool is that? would that be? Just like, oh, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that dress? Where'd you get that top? I made it. Like, that would just be so cool, so swaggy. So I definitely want to learn how to sew one day. But 
I feel like I need to like focus on acquiring only one skill at a time. Uh, I don't know. I, I tend to overload my plate a little bit occasionally, but I'm trying to limit myself, all right, to learning one skill at a time. And that skill is currently coding. <laughs> it's currently app development. Um, and then what was I, oh yeah. I mean, I was thinking about like working on writing. I'm literally treating myself like I'm a sim guys, okay? <laughs> I'm literally treating myself like I'm a sim. I'm like, what skills can I acquire? <laughs> but hey, that's the one thing about sims. I feel like I like making my sims um, just like have a bunch of skills because why the hell not? We did painting a little bit earlier in the year. We started with painting. We've been doing D&D. Now, now I'm doing app development. Um, I don't know. I guess I did think about, I was trying to like learn piano for a little bit, but... I don't know. I need to focus on one skill at a time or else I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> hey, Kayla, thank you so much for the ride. Wait, this is such a cute little gift. I didn't even make this. It's so cute. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I worked for a minor league baseball team and we lost 6 0. Oh, no. Hey, well, to be fair, when I, um, like, when I, I, I was on the softball team. For one season when I was in high school. Because I played little, I played like little league softball when I was a kid. And so I joined the softball team um, at my high school freshman year. And our team was so bad that we only won one game during the entire season. And it was because the other team, like, not enough players showed up, so it was like a forfeit win. <laughs> it was a forfeit win. And, um, yeah, obviously it's a team sport, so yes, I was terrible, but evidently everybody else on the team was also terrible. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, no thank you. So I didn't do softball again. If my school, like, had a better softball team, maybe, but, like, who the hell wants to play a sport where you literally are always losing? It's just depressing. It's just depressing, honestly. Um, plus, like, look at me, okay? Literally, look at me. Do I look like I have the softball body type? Okay, all the other softball girlies were like, Hoo! like, I don't know. Like, they were, I don't know what the right word is. They were, I wasn't looking like them. I'll just say that much. I was not looking like them. They could, I don't know. I'm like, because when I think about it, I'm like, you know, you don't really need to be super muscular or, like, you don't need to be big to play softball. But all the girl, all the other girls on the softball team were, like, bigger, just like more muscular, more, and not like, not like big, but like, like stocky almost. I don't know how to explain it. Butch, Butch is a good, there were a decent amount of lesbians on softball. Something about softball and lesbians, like, I don't know. There were like, out of any sport I did, <laughs> I would say that softball, I definitely had the most lesbians on the team. Um, but yeah, it was fun. There's one other like scrawny little girl like me and we were both like outfielders. <laughs> I was very bad, but. Regardless, okay, I only did saw. I fun fact about me actually. Fun fact, I did six sports during my time in high school. Softball was one of them. I did I did softball for one season. I did What else did I do? What did I do? So, oh, I did volleyball for one season. That's where I met Claire. Um, I did cheerleading for four years. So all four years of high school, I did cheerleading. Um, I did swimming for three years. And then I did diving for two years. I did like, like the last, when I was a junior, I would do swim and dive at the same time. Um, and I did, what else did I do? I did track and field, but specifically only field events. I used to be a sprinter. Like I was literally, <laughs> I was literally on the 100 meter dash, which is the shortest distance, the shortest sprint. I was on the 100 meter dash. I decided that, that was too long actually though. So, <laughs> so then I switched to field events where I only had to run like 60 meters and I did pole vault and long jump. <laughs> and triple jump which was so hard to learn the form for oh my god um oh you're their cameraman that's so exciting yeah like retrospectively honestly i the only reason why i did all these sports was literally because i just liked being on a team and i and if you did a sport um then you didn't have to do pe <laughs> So, I don't know. I just, honestly, I like the team vibes. I wasn't very good. The only sport that I did that I was, like, good at was cheer. I gotta be, I gotta be in the middle of the pyramid and stuff. They were throwing me in the air. 
but all my all the other sports that I did I was like god awful at okay but I didn't give a fuck all right I was there for fun I was there for fun and for fitness okay I didn't really care that much about being good uh, oh hello Nemon sorry I was kind of on a ramble um one of the honors of Kikri just as you went offline the other day all the wait what just as I went offline wait who who raided me the other day I can't even see I don't see any raids I don't know how I can- oh, I can filter? Wait, what the fuck? Can I- Okay, never mind, I can't really see anything. Um, hello there, I guess we could go on the front page if you agree. Oh! Sounds good, sure! Oh gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Um, oh, he did not raid, he didn't raid. I think he just stopped by. Um, yeah, I got- <laughs> Oh no, not cheer. Why not cheer? I feel like I give cheerleader vibes. Am I dressed up for Critical Role Campaign 2, Episode 2? Yes, that is exactly what I'm dressed up for. Um, I ran the 50 meter and 100 meter for- Wait, what? My school didn't even have 50 meter. That was like not an option. Softball is scary and I played men's baseball. It doesn't make sense to throw that fast underarm. Yeah, I don't know. I was- I was so bad, honestly. <laughs> I was so bad. The one sport that I did want to do that I, I, so I did all these sports, right? All right. I didn't give a fuck. Okay. I'd be showing up to auditions bad, terrible as hell. Okay. I gave no fucks. Um, but the one sport that I really want to do that I was so bad. I didn't even make the team <laughs> was tennis, was tennis. I was like, I want to be a tennis girly. But I think that something about me is like, since I've never really played sports, Cause it's like tennis, ping pong, softball, baseball, like they're all, you You have like something that is basically supposed to be an extension of your arm. And like, that was very difficult for me. Cause if you've noticed all these, all the other sports like track and field or like cheer and whatnot, like you're just, you, you're just throwing your body around. But I feel like sports where you have to like use something are much, much harder. Like they take a lot more practice in my, in my experience, I don't know. Cheers for the hydrate. You start watching camping. What even is this? I feel like I've kind of heard of it. Critical role. Um, is that like it's like people like people that play D and D. It's like a D and D podcast, right? Right? I don't know. Um. Do, 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 do. Why are? <laughs> oh God! Why are kick staff here? They're viewers too. Kick staff. Oh. I keep, sorry, I'm such a noob. I'm still getting used to all this kick stuff. Hope y'all don't mind. So wait, hold on, am I on the front page? Kick, am I on the front page right now? <laughs> I feel like I need to be mentally prepared <laughs> for that. Cause last time, Tuesday, got a little crazy. Got a little crazy. Um, I was the only left-handed batter on my team in elementary school. We were horrible, but I was the only one that could hit the ball since pitchers weren't used to me. And I would get $5 for every time I hit the ball. Damn, they bribing you to carry the team. <laughs> Uh, you must have been very popular with the girls on the team. With what? On what team? No, I was not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really attract. I don't really attract lesbians for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe. I don't know though. <laughs> I don't know if I'm their vibe. Um, you're in such a great mood today. I love it. Of course, I'm in a good mood. How can I be in a bad mood when I'm with you guys? <laughs> But I'm getting excited for C2E2, so that is something that is putting me in a good mood, I suppose. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, I'm prepared. I'm prepared! <laughs> um, hello, hi, Ben. Any ASMR on here? No ASMR on here, but, but, oh, wait, I need to make a pin chat. I need a new go live checklist that includes kick stuff. But I have a new ASMR video, um, so posted that today. True, oh wait, sorry, true, someone, I know someone said truth or dare, T or D. Um, I'll go with truth, okay, because I'm not trying to do something. <laughs> um, I've never seen a kick-staff in a streamer stream before. Really? I actually see the see it on kick a lot. Not a lot, it depends on like what the, who the streamer is and whatnot, but. Um, what is this? The schedule is live, plan your weekend and, oh, is, is TwitchCon EU going on right now? Um, wait, were you not being serious about C2E2? Did you trick me? Wait, I am being serious about C2E2. Wait, what? 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 I'm going to C2E2 this weekend. However, what the fuck is Claire doing? Is she live? 
<laughs> Everyone go to Claire's stream right now and be like, text Kaylee back! <laughs> because I bought my ticket for Saturday, and I'm going to be going with my D&D friends on Saturday. But I was trying to get Claire to come with me on, on Friday. But I haven't, heard, I haven't heard from her in a little bit, so... But I'm trying to get her to come. I'm trying to... What's C2E2? C2E2 is basically Comic-Con in Chicago. So, I don't know. It's 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 Chicago's Comic-Con, I guess. I don't know. I only recently found out about it. I've never been there before. But I had a lot of fun at TwitchCon, which was the only, um, only like, convention I've ever been to. So, I really want... I'm like, I really want to go another... Basically, I want an excuse to go and do a bunch of nerd shit and meet nerd people. So... Yeah, basically, yeah, so I'm trying to get Claire to come with me on Friday, and I texted her, and I was like, I, I, I was like, I have an outfit idea, I was like, what if we, what if we did Catwoman and Poison Ivy? Like, that's, those are some bad bitch activities. Claire said she can't go, no! Damn. I was, I thought, I thought... Damn, I'm just trying to be a bad bitch for Claire, bro. I just wanted to be Catwoman, Poison Ivy. I was like, you can pick. <laughs> I was like, you can be a pick which one you'd want to be. Uh, that's a bummer. Okay, I guess I'm not going. They even had Claire, Claire loves Star Wars and Claire loves yoga. And I was like, one of the events that they have on Friday is Star Wars yoga. What that entails, I have no clue. <laughs> what is Claire's Twitch? Claire L... I S. Well, actually, we have a command for her, honestly. There it is. Um. Did you escape school when you were a girl? Escape? <laughs> actually, I did try to like run away from school one time. So actually, yes, honestly, I remember one time, and it wasn't technically school. It was like I had to. I was a child of two working parents, so I was one of those kids that had to, like, stay hella late after school in, like, the daycare or, or whatever. Um, and I tried to run away from it one time, so I left the school, and, like, it's just, there were just neighborhoods around my school, and I was just walking around, and then eventually I was like, I don't have anything to do, so I just went back, and they were, they were so mad at me, obviously. They were pissed, but, um, yeah, I guess I technically, I did escape school once upon a time. Um, bending, you will be. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll still go on Friday. I don't know, but I don't have, I don't really have anyone to go with on Friday. So, maybe I'll only go on Saturday now. I was really hoping, I was really hoping. <sighs> Where's my Amazon wish list? Ooh, I don't know if we have commands up or anything. Yeah, we don't. It's okay, because I have it on Twitch. So I will just copy and paste. Um, honestly, let me pin my socials. Do... Are we not? Oh, is it that sweet? I guess so. Thinking about me. <laughs> That's that me espresso. Ugh. This. Ugh. Loving that dress and your hair looks nice. Thank you. Could it be any tighter? Well, it's like bunching up a little bit. Hold on. Like, why is it so... Guys, do you want to see the pain of being short? Okay, like, like this is like, like the dress should be cute, right? It's supposed to be a little mini dress. This is what it looks like if I pull it all the way down. But I'm like, I don't want it to be so wrinkly. I don't know. You can see the outline of my shorts underneath. Okay, sorry. Um... Anyhow, anyhow, gotta update this a little bit. I know, sorry, this is like only my third kick stream ever, okay? Third kick stream ever, but we we got mods, we got sub badges, we got panels, I added a bio, I believe. Um, so I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Commands, let me actually write that down. What was I gonna write down? <laughs> oh, set up kick commands. Got this pen. Okay. Oh, sorry, I realized I have slow mode on. Let me turn that off. 
Um, talking about the wish list, silly. Is it not updated? Wait, why is it like not a command in the thing? Is it because it doesn't have the HTTPS? I did, I did copy and paste it. Here, there, I added the HTTPS. So I guess you need that for the link. First time you're talking about you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. I mean, some old things on here last time I added something was in February. In February? Wait, you can see when I add things? Anyways, these are all things that I want. <laughs> these are all, I, let's, I guess I, okay, to be fair, I have not been being as much of a maniac with my online shopping, okay? That's why. I I literally used to go and open the Amazon app as if it was a as if it was a social media platform. I'd be bored and I'd be like, "Let's scroll on on Amazon." <laughs> I would I would just search cute on Amazon and I would just scroll and scroll and scroll and then whenever I would see things that I like, I would like buy them or I would add them to my wish list. But I don't do that anymore, okay? I don't do that anymore because I, I mean, I had like a little bit of a shopping addiction <laughs> and I was like, I don't want shopping addiction ain't good. Okay. Not good. You end up with a lot of useless junk and not to mention money wasted. So yeah, honestly though, I didn't really do it intentionally, but I'm glad that I don't have as bad of shopping habits as I used to. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Camera deceiving, is she small? Yeah, sorry, I, do I look taller? I feel like I, I used to look really tall when I had my webcam because I would have it like at eye level with me, but my camera now is kind of looking down on me. So I feel like I look shorter, but I don't know. I fell into the same trap with Goodwill auctions online. Yeah, no, I just feel like if you do not have self-control shopping, you should not have shopping apps on your phone. Like that, that will be, that was the death of me. <laughs> that will be the death of me. Um, Kick has a great stream quality for video games. They use AV1 for stream. <gasps> yeah, no, I was actually thinking about um, doing a gaming stream on Kick. Well, a multi stream, a gaming multi stream. Um, but I know I already explained why I didn't feel like it was great to do Baldur's Gate. So I was thinking maybe RuneScape. <laughs> would y'all watch? Would y'all watch a RuneScape stream? Um, just cause I, you know, I have some, uh, RuneScape friends that I made at TwitchCon last year so we could play with them. And I know that there's like a ton of RuneScape streamers on Kick, So I figured that means that there's gotta be RuneScape viewers. I don't know. <laughs> we could just try it and see how it goes. Um, but I've heard people tell me that people don't really game as much on Kick, So I figured, I don't know. I was just trying to think of things. Just trying to think of shiz. Can't believe I'm labeled as the RuneScape friend. <laughs> Sorry, specifically this guy, okay? Maybe we could play with this this weirdo in chat. Sorry, sorry, Kick, you can't see him, but there's a weirdo in my Twitch chat. Um, have I ever been to Africa? I have not, actually. I do really want to go. I think, well, let's see. Well, I haven't been to Antarctica. I haven't, <laughs> obviously. I have not been, well, I guess not, obviously, but I have not been to Antarctica. I have not been to Africa. I have not been to South America. And I have not been to Australia. So I still got four continents left that I gotta go visit. Um, ah, oh, Sashmores, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heart, heart, heart. Also, ignore the fact that my nail polish, I, I just ordered some stuff. I'm gonna try and DIY my nails, guys. My my natural nail journey ain't going great. <laughs> Um, uh, Magistar, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I forgot to pin my message for kick. Yay! How about New Zealand? Well, no, I've never been to New Zealand, but I do want to go to New Zealand. Honestly, if I had the choice between visiting Australia or New Zealand, I would choose New Zealand. I just see such gorgeous pictures of New Zealand all the time. And it just looks so beautiful there. I really want to go. I really want to go. I'm trying to be in my travel era, but the but it's just hard because, you know, not it's just hard. <laughs> it's hard to plan and coordinate international travel with friends. But I don't even think me and my 
friends are going to do a big international trip this year. I'm so sad. I was going to try and do one with them every year, but it's just, it's just hard when everyone's got freaking jobs and life and adulting and whatnot, but I'm, maybe it's not too late. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe me and my friends can do something in the fall, but I feel like I really need to get on my summer trip planning, TBH. Ugh, job sag, life sag, I know. I love the new video telling you. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I was like, I feel like I hadn't done a towel one in a long time or my towel video was like really short. I can't remember. Sorry, guys. This is like, this top, this top band is really tight. So if you see me like moving and stuff, it's because it's bothering me a little bit, but it's fine. Um, anywho, <laughs> I want to visit Paris mainly because of the Eiffel Tower, really. I want to visit, I want to visit France mainly because I took, um, some French when I was in high school and I got a Je parle, je parle un peu de français. <laughs> so I gotta use it before I forget it. Um, is it that sweet? I guess so. Sorry. Um, want to visit Egypt? I would definitely love to visit Egypt one day. I want to visit. Well, I definitely want to see like all the great wonders of the world and whatnot eventually. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, it's, it's just impossible to plan tra international travel with friends. But I'm hoping maybe like when I'm like late 20s, you know, people's people aren't getting worked to the ground because they're not the bottom of the totem pole at their job anymore. Hopefully people have got some more savings to travel and whatnot. But I am not a solo traveler. <laughs> but yeah, that's like my hardest thing with traveling is just like finding finding people that are down, also that have the time and like the funds and whatnot, which not that I'm blaming or anything because economy's not doing great, job, job market not great. So, you know, I totally get why travel is not, you know, super doable for everyone. At least for me, it's like, I can be like, well, this is for work. <laughs> I'm like, as long as I vlog it, it's a business trip, right? <laughs> Get some get some IRL streams. Oh something I've decided I really want to do is get an IRL stream set up for this summer So I can do some IRL stuff in Chicago this summer um, And I was talking about I was talking with Claire about this and uh, I was like maybe we can split something if you know we, she, we both we both could use it or something but yeah, I definitely hope hopefully there can be some IRL streams this summer. That'd be really cool But I know I know IRL setups and stuff are very expensive, so I don't know. I gotta keep that in mind. I got you the boots off my Amazon <gasps> with the red ones. Ah! Wait, thank you. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heart, heart, heart. Sorry, I like read chat all out of order sometimes. Okay, my bad. I'm not always reading chat messages in order, but thank you. Wait, now I'm excited. See, I really like boots like that because I feel like those look really cute with dresses. I don't know. I feel like cowgirl boots are really in right now. Um, But in the same sense, I'm just trying to... Wait. Even the... It would be cool to visit them all. Even the pyramids. I feel like the pyramids would be really cool. Why are you saying even the pyramids? Like, they're lame. Hex Dizzy! Thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I had a knot in that piece. Have I ever had Bulldog Ramen? Yes, I have. That's just fire. That's just fire. That's just gas. What is up with this piece of hair? Okay, sorry. Um, visit. No, I have not. Where am I from, Asian? What? <laughs> Is that what you're calling me? <laughs> um, I'm from from America. Uh, am I hyper house dragon? Yes, yes, yes. I I finished I finished rewatching season one, so my memory is jogged. And I was talking about this last stream, but I was like, I forgot how much fucking childbirth there is. How much traumatic ass childbirth there is in season one of House of Dragons. Oh my god. I was rewatching it. I was like, damn, I forgot all this shit was happening. But I am excited. I'm like, what's gonna go down in season two? Uh. Um, there's an artist I know who's gonna be at C2E2 Pog. Ooh, like a painting artist or what kind of artist? A musician? This is gonna be my first time going to C2E2, so a little nervous. 
Now, modern medicine equal giving birth is dangerous AF. Yeah. Well, I don't even, it's not even like, it's like more so like the technology because I feel like there was two births basically where something was going wrong and, but like they, they don't know, like they don't know what's going wrong because they can't like look inside with some ultrasound stuff or whatnot. So thank goodness for modern technology. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What's my favorite flavor? Oh, I like the pink one of the Baldock Ramen. I like the pink one. <laughs> Whichever one that is. I tried the yellow one one time and it wasn't as good. Um, will I be trying the boots on like a little unboxing? Ooh, I definitely can. I'm, def I'm down. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Um, I love wearing boots. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like me entering adulthood has somehow made me acquire like a million more pairs of boots and I will keep acquiring them. <laughs> Because they're just so good because I like wearing boots when I go out when I'm going out because I don't really like because sometimes I don't know like when I wear heels I just I don't know P Drinks are spilling your toes get sticky people are can step on your feet and stuff and whatnot So I don't know. I feel like I've really become impartial to wearing boots whenever I go out now Especially like oh, that's why I try to get more cute boots and whatnot uh, Am I in Cali? No, I'm not in Cali. I'm in the Midwest Midwest princess, Ao, rebrand. Um, <laughs> thank you, also Andy. I appreciate that. But yeah, no, I'm down. Who knows how? I guess Amazon delivers pretty fast, honestly. Is there anything I'll watch anyways? Oh yay! Thank you. It's really nice and cheap. You would love it here. <laughs> I think you got prop toes. Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh! I cannot stop spilling. I think I just, I need to stop tilting this cup. <laughs> I think that's really the, the problem here is this lid is not waterproof. Oopsies. Oops a daisies. Sorry, chat. <sighs> Anywho, um, everybody have a good, good weekend. Good weekend and whatnot. Um, I had a productive weekend. Didn't really do any fun stuff, but that's okay because I'll be doing fun stuff next weekend. I'm kind of nervous for C2E2 though if I go. I feel like I have no idea what to expect. What if I am being a weirdo on accident? Any advice? Chat, do you guys have any convention advice for me? Okay, are there any convention pros in chat that you just, you go to, you go to all the cons, you know, you, you're, you're a pro. What would be your advice? Any, 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 any convention pro advice for a convention new, newbie? Deodorant. Noted. That is part of my, uh, you know, usual routine, but I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Imagine if I, like, brought a spray and then I, like, spray anyone that smells bad. <laughs> That'd be so mean. Never mind. Um, pepper spray. I don't think I have pepper spray, but I do have a taser. Oh, it's right there. Shaped like a frog. <laughs> I don't think I can bring that in, though. Um, I get nervous at comic cons and don't ramble on. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't ramble on. I don't know. Cause it's like, I also want to kind of, I want to kind of try and make friends, but I have no idea how that's going to happen. So I'm just thinking like, maybe if I just go to events and whatnot, who knows? I will vlog it for you guys too. So you'll be able to see me and all my cringeness um, via vlog. <laughs> um, I can see you spraying people. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't feel like I really, I don't know. I guess I don't really encounter smelly people very often. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think though. Do I notice? I was gonna say, cause I don't know if I really notice. Like, I feel like somebody has to be really, really stinky for me to, for me to notice that they smell bad. Um, gotchas! Thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Heart, heart, heart. Thank you. Yay! No smelly people. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the only, I don't know, the only time I remember, the only time I can think of where I distinctly thought this person is smelly was in a class that I had. And he was European. Is there like something about Europeans not liking deodorant or something as much? Is that a thing? <laughs> Sorry if I'm offending any Europeans in chat, but I, I've heard, I feel like I've heard that before, but maybe I'm wrong. 
<laughs> yes, like, like, Def checks out. <laughs> Yeah, no, because he, I, I don't even remember. I can't remember, but I swear I remember hearing something about how Europeans, like, don't. We use it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. Cultural thing. And then, okay, but actually, like, fuck this guy. Actually, you know, you know what? Fuck this guy. I don't give a fuck. He's smelly as hell. Nasty, nasty ass motherfucker, okay? Because, yeah, this guy, sometimes he would sit in front of me and I'd be, ugh. And dying and then fast forward to the end of the end of the semester we get randomly assigned groups to do the final project on he's in my group okay so and this guy all right this guy so remember i can't so you guys know how i told you like i did a final project on blizzard for one of my classes when i was in college that was this class okay that was this class we did we were doing a final we had to like do something basically we did our final project on blizzard we had to do a company that was doing really bad and this was when blizzard was having all of its sexual harassment lawsuits so we chose blizzard and that made us like have to do re research into the gaming industry and stuff like that and I, we had to like give suggestions to the company on things that they could do better and one of the things that we were thinking about doing like the group our, our group was like, oh, like maybe we can like tell them that they should have like some diversity, like some DEI, like diversity and inclusion, um, like, you know, stuff at their company. And this guy was like, mm, what? Like, why would they do that? Like the reason why there's, cause we did like all these analysis on Blizzard and like basically most of the people working, most employees there were men, like by a huge margin. Um, oh my God, Miss Tricky, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm like going on a rant about a school project that I did literally years ago, okay? But I'm, <laughs> I'm not over it. Welcome Raiders! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I appreciate that though. Okay, hold on. I need, I, I want to finish my rant though. <laughs> I need I need to get this off my chest, okay? Basically, I'm dissing this I'm I'm dissing this one guy from this class. So I do a final project on Blizzard, okay? We're recommending like that they do some, you know, they're better with their diversity or whatever to hopefully have a better culture. And and then this guy, one of the guys in our group, he's getting all pissed. He's like, no, like the reason why mostly men work there is because men just like video games more and because like men are just more qualified to work there. And I was like, what? Like, what are you even saying? Like plenty of women like to play games. Like I was like, I was like, and I like to play games. And he was like, oh, really? What kind of games do you like to play? So I was like, this is when I was playing Valorant when I was like being really bad. But I still was like, I was like, I mean, like I play Valorant and stuff. And, like that. and then I was like, wait a minute. I don't need to fucking justify the fact that I play games like I don't know like he was like trying to like pop quiz me and like say that like women don't play games I that I, I'm lying I don't play games blah 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 and I was just like so yeah anyways I don't feel bad about calling him stinky anywho <laughs> Raiders welcome sorry I had to get I had to finish getting that off my chest okay because I am a gamer I am a gamer okay I'm a gamer girl Anywho, regardless, um, are you like gay snipers? <laughs> women don't, yeah, no, he was just going on this whole ass rant about how like women don't like video games, women don't play games, and I'm sitting here like, bitch, <laughs> I'm, I'm addicted, okay? I've played games my whole life. You like games? I like video games. Um, what am I gonna eat today? I don't know, I already had lunch. Had some ravioli for lunch. I had a green scallion pancake for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, you're a gamer? Name every single game to ever exist. <laughs> That's what it felt like. But anyways. <laughs> What's the woman looking at Bl working at Blizzard now? I don't know. I don't say I don't know anything about Blizzard. Like I said, this was like a year ago when they were having the terrible thing. And I remember one of the things that we did or one of the recommendations was like fire the CEO. And Blizzard actually did that, so so obviously my school project was you know taken very seriously i'm just kidding not like we sent it into them uh you should make the chat screen front you because there's a lot of messages you don't see that's my opinion sometimes i just like to go on rants and rambles okay um anyway wait midwest like kansas midwest like illinois welcome to take it thank you i think i like that if you find more boots on Amazon, add them, I'll get them for you. Oh my gosh, maybe. It's summertime though, so I might not be wearing as many boots. But when fall comes back around, all right? Fall is the season of the boot. Um, 
I see your messages. I literally, what are you talking about? I literally see chat. Okay, I have chat, I have kick chat right here and I have Twitch chat right here. Okay, there's two chats. So that's why you're seeing me respond to messages that I, that, you know, you can't see. Doesn't mean that. <laughs> okay, where's the last of us to take place then? Oh my gosh, should, I, should we play the game? I actually have been thinking about playing last of us. Should we play? Um, also, oh my gosh, I hope Tricky, I hope you had a good stream. I always feel bad whenever I get a raid and I'm like mid rant about something. Uh, why don't you compliment on my dress? Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, anywho, scrolling down, scrolling down. Um, <laughs> new followers thinking Kaylee will be able to acknowledge more than one fifth of them while we type while we talking just just you know I try my best but yeah it's like I can't I can't necessarily read every single message um Twitch has a crazy rule about not showing a different platform's chat on stream no clue why yeah sorry I cannot um I can't have the chat on screen because yeah, because of what Lamar said. Basically, if I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm not allowed to have kick chat on screen. I, you can't even like have those ones that like combo all the chats, unfortunately. So that's why I just have chat off, chat on screen, chat not on screen during these. Okay, I feel like the shorts are really making this dress unflattering. The shorts that I have under here, they're like bunching up and making it look so weird. I don't know, okay, you know what? Whatever. Um, sweaty man feels threatened. That attractive woman also likes his hobby, but not him by extension. <laughs> let's just let's not even sweaty, just straight up smelly. Smelly, stinky. Anyways, he also he and get this. Okay, sorry, I'm like still ranting. And get this, okay. So we do all of this stuff, right? We do all this, we do this whole thing and everyone on, in the group agrees on everything that we're doing except for this man who's getting like pissed off. Um, and then the day comes where we present this final project that we've been working on. Please tell me why I got to this man's part. He added slides that had stupid memes and stuff and he, and every, and he just said his own stuff that completely went against everything else that we were saying and then made us get a bad grade on it. And I literally had to go to the professor afterwards and be like, can you please just remove this man's segment? Like act like it wasn't even part of it because everything, like everything that we had gotten docked for on the rubric was like things that he said. Like he just completely went against everything and just made random slides that made no sense and was getting up there and made th were saying things that made no sense. <laughs> he, he was like reading inspirational quotes like, I don't know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That was easily one of, like, the worst. And it was, like, the final project of the class. And, yeah, so that was probably, like, one of the worst group projects I ever had to be a part of. And it was just because of that one dude. Like, everyone else on the group was fine. But, oh my god. I mean, have you guys ever had someone go rogue in a group project? <laughs> like, like that? <laughs> like, literally just completely... I don't even know. Like, you know what? It's like, I don't care if someone is like lazy and doesn't want to contribute. Okay, fine, whatever. But to go rogue, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's a little crazy. Like, what the fuck? If you're just that pissed off, just don't contribute, okay? Just don't contribute and we'll just, ha we'll just have to pick up the slack, whatever. But like, that's better than sabotaging it, literally. What the fuck? He was a rogue mod. <laughs> yeah, he, I don't know, so. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, it's all it's all done now. It's all done now. Um, have I spent much time downtown Chicago? Yeah, I have. I have. I have. Um, I really like it. I'm hoping to get an IRL stream set up so that we can do some IRL streams in downtown Chicago because Chicago in the summertime, mwah, amazing. Um, be spiteful but in silence. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> Narcissus exists. That's why I hated grooves. I always said I did the presentation for group. Just give me what you need and I'll make it work. Yeah. No, I was definitely like <laughs> I was definitely the person that I was like, okay, you're you're stupid, you don't and you don't want to do any work, fine. Don't do any work because like because you're stupid, you're gonna ruin it. <laughs> I was definitely the person that was just like taking over and doing the whole project. <laughs> 
But I don't, honestly, though, I feel like I don't feel bad about that because I feel like there were definitely people that I worked with that were like happy that I did that. They were happy they didn't have to contribute. But yeah, I was like not trying to trust other people with my grade, honestly. Like that should be stressing me out. <laughs> But I don't know, chat. Chat, okay, when you were in school and you did group projects, what what were you like or what was you, I don't know, what was your role usually? Ah, <sighs> you probably can't wait think he showed you. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. Because <sighs> he heard his own grade too, what the fuck? Okay, anywho. <laughs> did I attend college in Chicago? No, not Chicago, but in Illinois. State in state. Um, I work at Big Fancy Starbucks if you've had a chance to stop by there. Oh, the, 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 the roastery. Yeah, I've been there a few times, actually. I've, I really like the espresso martinis, but they're a little pricey. <laughs> so I normally, I, I went one time when I like first moved to the city. And then I went another time when my California friends came to visit me because it's like iconic. But I feel like since it's like a little pricey, I'm like, I don't know if I would get this on the huge. I did try their espresso martini flight that they had. It was kind of gross. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, I plan to enroll at UIC. Any advice heading to college? Oh my god, that's so exciting! Also, congrats. Um, that's just that's just fun. Um, any advice? Okay, my advice: join clubs. Join clubs. Like when you're a freshman, honestly, just like so, like I don't know. Like my school had like a quad day, or there there should be some kind of day where it's like literally all the clubs come out and try to like recruit people to join them. Go to that and join a bunch. And it's fine, like just honestly like join a bunch and like you're not gonna stay in all of them, it's fine. But the goal is that hopefully you find one or two clubs that you really like. Hopefully pertaining to, it could literally be anything. Look, it could literally be anything, right? But this will help you like make friends. Plus once you're in the club and you're making friends, hopefully, you know, if you stay in the club and like once you're older, you're a junior, senior, you can have like a leadership position and it could literally be anything, right? Like be a philanthropy chair, whatever. I was philanthropy chair for my sorority. Um, and then, that will be something that you can put on your resume when you're looking for internships. So, you know, there's people out here there that just don't do shit in college and then it comes time for them to try and find an internship and then they have like literally nothing that they can talk about or do. But if you join a club and then you later on get some kind of later leadership position, you can be like, oh, I managed this committee and I worked with this budget and blah, blah, blah. And, and most importantly, even though like, yes, like that's good career wise, most importantly, clubs are a great way to like meet people and they're usually really fun. Like it's just like they're, cl they're clubs that are made by college students, run by college students. Like it's just fun. So basically it's like, get involved, I guess. Get involved and whatnot. And especially when you're a freshman, because I feel like I knew a lot of people who like didn't do that stuff when they were freshmen and then they were trying to do it when they're a sophomore. But some clubs are like, especially if it's a club where you have to like, it's competitive to join or anything. They might not, you know, be as welcoming to soft or it just might be hard to get in as a sophomore. That was me. I like didn't join a biz frat when I was a freshman. And then I like didn't realize that they were like, you know, legitimately really cool. And I had a lot of friends that were in biz frats. So I tried to join a biz frat as a sophomore and then no one wanted me because I was a sophomore and I didn't get in. So <laughs> if I would have, if I would have rushed when I was a freshman though, I might've been able to. <sighs> as it goes. <laughs> One of the biggest shortfallings of my college career, to be honest. I was devastated. I was devastated. I cried. <laughs> it's, it's fine though. It's totally fine. I'm, I'm over it now for sure. <laughs> I did nothing in college. LOL. Yeah. Do you wish you did more? I feel like I did a lot in college and I'm so glad that I did. And that's always my advice to everyone. And even my brother, my brother's actually about to graduate. Oh my God, like in a month or two. And that was one thing that I told him. I was like, join clubs and do things. And he ended up joining a fraternity. And he says that he is so grateful that I told him that because he said that he wouldn't have joined a frat if I didn't tell him to. And then, um, but like all of his friends that he has in college and stuff are from his frat. He did the same, he like held a leadership position and stuff in his frat. But yeah, like all of his friends, and he ended up hating his roommates that he had at his dorm. So he would actually end up hanging out with his frat friends all the time and be at the frat house and whatnot. And he literally said that he would not have had nearly as much fun in college if he didn't do that. So I think that clubs and organizations can go a long ways, even if it's Greek life, like literally even if it's Greek life. Greek life was very fun for me personally. I enjoyed. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Uh, yeah, that's a good advice. Clubs are how you make friends. Yeah, it's like you make friends, they're fun, it's a resume builder. You know, I just feel like that is genuinely my best college advice for you. Networking. <laughs> um, hi, friends. Hello. How are you? Um, I had lots of friends in the higher grade. Some of them kept their projects just so I just copy. Really? See, that was like one thing in the sorority was like everyone was just like, we literally had like folders and, and stuff and you would like get points if you uploaded like for our, every every assignment that you had that you uploaded. <laughs> a lot of clubs will like have internal back end stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I never joined a frat, but only went to frat parties. I mean, yeah, frat parties are fun, <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I, I mean, I went to frat parties as well. Uh, there wasn't much for options at this one. It's a small college town and it's really a uh, lackluster. See, I also literally like the school that I went to was like in literally the cornfields of Illinois. So basically the middle of nowhere. <laughs> also small cornfield town, it was a college town. And that was like one of the reasons why you should join a club. Cause it's like, if you go to college in the city, I feel like there's so many things to do and whatnot. Like there's just so many people in a city, but like in a cornfield, what else are you gonna do? You can join Greek life and get fucked up. That's what I did. <laughs> Clubs can be tough when working to put yourself through school. Yeah. No, definitely. But like, I don't know. I don't, it, it definitely depends on the club though. Cause there are definitely lots of clubs that are not super time intensive. And even like clubs that are chill, like, I don't know. There are clubs that literally just like want you to have men, men you know, I don't know. Like, I feel like clubs are not really time intensive, even Cause like I had a pretty, I had a pretty advanced course load and I don't know, personally, like I said, like you joined, I joined a bunch of clubs when I was a freshman and then, you know, obviously you're not going to like all of them. So then you just quit the ones that you don't like. And the goal is that you end up staying in like one or two for, for when you graduate, you're like only going to be in like one or two by the time you graduate. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like college is a great way to just like try a bunch of things and figure out what you like. Everyone's trying to figure out who they are, what they want to do with life. I was trying to have fun. <laughs> I love college. It was fun. Um, Los Cuatro Amigos. Thank you so much for the tier one. Happy 45 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heart, heart, heart. Um, yeah, I wish someone gave me that advice. Maybe that's something I can make on my blog. I can make a blog post. Advice for college. People going to college. I don't know. Advice for soon-to-be college students. Because I have a lot. I have a lot. Cause I feel like I really made the most of my college experience. The only thing I could have done better was rush a biz frat when I was a freshman. <laughs> my one regret. Um, I went to a nerdy anti-social school, really. I will say the social life at my school was very nice. It was, it was great. I, I loved it. And that's like one thing that I feel like I didn't think about when I was applying to schools. I was not thinking about what the social life was like or anything like that, but I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I ended up going. I was just like focused on academics, but I feel like social life has a huge impact on your college experience. Um, when you're trapped in a college town with nothing around, it's good for focus, but can hurt exposure to the world. I liked my non-university friends too. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I don't think it hurts exposure to the world. Like, I mean, you're still in the world. If anything, it's better, okay? Because I feel like I knew lots of people who were just like from the city and then they come down and like, I feel like the city living can be its own, can be its own kind of bubble. Can be its own, you know what I mean? Cause now they're having to interact with people who are from the cornfields. People that they have not had to interact with before. And there's one thing I've learned from living in the cornfields and then also living in the city is that definitely like different kinds of people for sure, for sure. So I actually think that it could be very good exposure for city kids. Um, children of the corn. <laughs> the community college I went to before that was amazing in terms of social life, less nerds, mostly all the high school DJs. See, I feel like my school was like full of nerds that liked to party, which was, I fell into that category nerds who like to party and that's like hell yeah those are my people those are my favorite kind of pe of folks um no nah, the art and fringe community are kind of their own thing which uni can shelter from you but i feel like those communities exist at university and i also feel like there are art and fringe people in the cornfields and that's the thing too is like oh god i actually just saw a video of like chappelle roan the girl 
this musician that's been blowing up lately. But she talks about how she is a huge advocate for, like, all, you know, I don't know, just, like, all the non-traditional people that live in the cornfield still, because there are a lot of them, and it's not like the cornfields are only just full of, like, you know, just farmer yeehaw folks. There's lots of those kind of people as well, and I feel like, I don't know, it's not like they don't exist, and those different kinds of people. LOL, all the racist people. Not even just all the racist people, though. It's just like, see, that's the thing. That's like, that's literally, I feel like the way that people think, the way that people that have lived in cities their whole life think of people that li live in more rural areas, I feel like is very demeaning. And I feel like it's because those people have never been around those people. So that's why I feel like that when, the, when those city kids go to school in the college corn, in the cornfield towns, they're finally able to get that exposure and be like, oh wait, like these are humans, these are people, they're just as, you know, deep and whatnot as I am, yada yada. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> like that was something that I feel like annoyed me even as well was just, I don't know. I guess the way that it felt like all the suburb and kitty and city kids, they came down. Because I also went to high school in college cornfield or in, in my cornfield town. And like the way that, I don't know. You can just tell that they think that they're fucking better than you. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm a nerd that likes to party, but only in small doses. Yeah, no, I feel like my partying days are behind me. To be honest, I cannot party like I used to. All right. I used to be... Now I'm like, aren't you? <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I'm the lead roaster for the building. Glad you liked it. <laughs> there wasn't much for options at this one. It's a small college. Oh, I read that. I'm rolling into UC Davis this upcoming fall. I'm super excited for the future, but nervous at the same time. <gasps> well, there's lots to be excited for, but it's okay to be nervous as well. But I don't know. Just make the most of it. Make the most of it. Sorry, I'm like buffing my nails. Should I do my nails really quick? I feel like... Where the freak? Hold on a second. Any nail pop? Ugh, OMG. Sorry. My nail. I think I need to redo my nails. Ugh, I've been trying to transfer to a natural nail journey, but I don't know if I'm vibing with it as much. Should I just go back to having my longer nails and getting them done? They're just so much stronger. I feel like these did not last very long. I didn't, it was like I just got Arg. Sorry. Hashtag just girly things. I need to try to save this nail. There we go. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are definitely racist people in the cornfields. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, love in the, I love in the country, too. Uh, literally, like, cornfields on side of me and live on the farmland. Nobody here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are... I don't know. It definitely depends. Um, there were definitely... There's definitely more of a certain kind of people in, in the cornfields, for sure. Um, there's literally a cornfield on my apartment window. LOL. Um... <laughs> I stopped getting mine done. I'm so bad about keeping up with them and making them look nice. I know, it's just, like, so hard to do it on your own because, like, you know, the, the girlies in the nail salon, those are some professionals. Me, I am not a professional, so. But I just ordered this new light that's supposed to be really good. It's literally the exact same light that my nail salon uses, so I'm thinking, like, maybe if I use their light, 
it'll be better. I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of expensive, so I'm gonna freaking return it if it doesn't work as good as I hope. But... Ugh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Sorry, I feel like I'm like a girl in movies whenever I'm filing my nails. You know, like... <laughs> Um, I was a small town and I had same type so give me side eyes and ask me current question about being Asian heritage I only speak and I just don't feel comfortable there really I guess it definitely depends like where you're going or like what kind of town you're going to and whatnot but generally speaking I also feel like I don't know I don't know. I guess, you know what? Never mind. I met plenty of racist people from the city. All, that's all I gotta say. Mostly, like, from the Chicago suburbs, okay? It's mostly those, sub so those suburb kids. I guess I shouldn't say from the city. Those suburb kids, okay? I would have to say I met just as many, if not more, racist kids from the suburbs than I knew from the cornfields. Because at least, like, my cornfield town, like... Like, I don't know, there was, like, there was Asian people, there was, like, there was people of other ethnicities. I don't know what's going on in the suburbs, but I feel like that, that's, I don't know. That was my experience. Um, I really short nail beds, so getting my nails out of, sh out of short and usable length means they look like little square candies you get from the machines at the mall. <laughs> Yeah, normally I go, I like tried out a more like square-ish shape, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna go back. Normally I do almond, but I might go like do a little rounded, a rounded, like just round. <laughs> we'll see though. I'm, I was like trying to grow out my natural nails um, or try to like have my natural nails because I usually get gel X on them and it just doesn't work out for me now. <sighs> um, ignoring chat. <laughs> um, just ignoring you. Actually, <laughs> yeah, and I am streaming on two platforms. <laughs> what is up? Okay, wait, genuine, genuine question. Why are kick? Why the fuck are kick viewers so impatient? I will literally take longer than five seconds to, to read and answer their chat and they're fucking getting so pissed off. Is it, maybe, okay, here's my theory. Maybe it's because there's less viewers on kick. And so I, I guess I can only assume that when they go into a stream or stream, they're used to having their messages immediately answered or something. Cause it doesn't make sense. Like I feel like nobody on Twitch is getting pissed. Like when I take, I could take like five minutes to respond to y'all and y'all will, I don't know. So, you know, patience is a virtue, chat. <laughs> this is, yeah, classic kick. Like, I feel like I was expecting, like, I was expecting, you know, just like a lot of trolls and annoying people, but I've come to find that this has actually been the biggest issue is people getting mad when I'm not immediately responding to them. Which is, I don't know, I guess I'm surprised though that being the biggest issue on kick currently. It's the cornfield of streaming platforms. Yeah, maybe there's just, there's just less people, so they're used to it. But as it goes, anyway, I try my best. What am I what am I up to for today? Um, we're just doing a short little just chatting stream because I'm gonna be going over to a friend's later because she's gonna help me alter my C2E2 cosplay that I'll be wearing this weekend. I'm gonna be Daisy from Mario Kart. Maybe. I don't know. I think I am. I think I definitely am. I think it's too late to change my mind. Uh, maybe not. But the only thing is, like, I tried the wig on, and I look a little weird, bro. I feel like this is why I can't cosplay, is because I just don't think I look good with wigs. <sighs> Should I still be it? I mean, maybe I could be something else instead. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's all going to depend on how this sewing situation goes tonight, okay? If I'm able to successfully alter my outfit and it looks really good, maybe I can just... I don't know. See, I chose Daisy because she had brown hair, but I forgot that her hair isn't, like, actually... It's not, like, this kind of brown. It's, like, a really, really, really light brown. It's almost like a strawberry blonde, honestly. And y'all know I don't... I do not look good with light hair color. So I'm like, maybe I can try, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, would it look weird? Like, do I look, does my hair look daisy enough? 
Or y'all think I'm not gonna look like Daisy unless I got like the wig or something. I don't know. I fucked up. I fucked up though. I was just like, what's a what are some brunette characters I can cosplay? You use the wig with wig wig cap with wigs? Yes, I do. It's mostly like the color. Like I just feel like I look really weird in it with any hair color that's not my natural hair color. Um, hi Tevin. Hello. I've met some amazing people on Kick. Don't hate it yet, please. <laughs> it's okay. I'm yeah, I'm giving you guys I'm giving you guys more of a, a fair chance, okay? This is my third kick stream. I think we're we're doing pretty good. How many kick streams until I ca can stop having I'm I'm not allowed to have the title that I'm new anymore. What's my favorite food? Like type of food? Um uh, my favorite type of food. I like dim sum a lot. Dumplings? I'm a huge dumpling fan. Big, huge, big dumpling girl. That's me. That's me. Me and dumplings like like this. We like this. Um, I think if you just got a bit darker than that and do your makeup to complement the hair color, it might look a little better. If I go a bit darker. But Daisy has light hair. Daisy does not have dark brown hair. So that's why I'm supposed to go lighter. Uh, just keep going. You'll get good traffic for a while. I used it. Oh, I'll use it for a while. All right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm already streaming on Twitch, so it's no extra work per se to to multi-stream. Um, God, I'd kill for some good dumplings right now. I might order some now that you said that. I mean, that's a great thing about dim sum as well is it's usually not too expensive. You know, they usually got it family style and whatnot. Um, dumpling for life, yeah, yeah, dump, dumpling, ri dump, fellow dumplings, rise up, it's dumpling time. <laughs> Do I have time to make a shark costume? Oh my god. No, unfortunately. I don't think I could pull off her fit like that. <laughs> I wanted to wear something that was like, I don't know, like a cute little skirt or something. Because <sighs> unfortunately, yeah, I don't know, cosplaying is like hard. I, as I really want, like, I really want to get into cosplay, but, like, every time I do try to, like, make a cosplay, it's so much work. It's so much work. And it's, like, hard to find good quality cosplays that also fit. Like, I feel like to be a cosplayer, you have to have a little bit of sewing skills. Because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's my take. <laughs> Agree? Disagree? I mean, darker than hers. Oh, like, some sort of middle ground closer to the daisy side. I see. I see, I see. Yeah, well, I already got the wig and, and everything, so I don't know. I'll probably be trying it on tonight. <laughs> I might have to bleach my eyebrows, though, guys. <laughs> Just to lighten them, because that's what looks weird, is, like, the hair, like, I don't know. Like, I get the wig on, but then my eyebrows are just dark as hell. Do I have it? Um, It's kind of a way. I, don't have to, I would have to rummage for it. Um, but probably, yeah, I mean, I'll be able to show you guys soon after, after I go get it hemmed and whatnot. Although actually, no, you guys will have to watch my vlog to see my cosplay. <laughs> You'll have to watch my C2E2 vlog. Just go blonde, you know you want to. No, I look terrible blonde, okay? We've tried on many different kinds of blonde wigs and I actually did try to go blonde once upon a time. And yeah, it looked terrible. I looked terrible. Um, yeah. Bro, why? Show us now. <laughs> Show what? I'm not gonna put it on. Okay? Um, anywho. I doubt that. No, like actually factually, I look bad blonde. And it's fine, guys. I don't I don't I'm glad that I don't look better blonde. I would actually be so upset if I looked better blonde because then I would have to fry and bleach my hair and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on my hair to be blonde. And I'm actually very grateful that I look better <laughs> with my natural hair color. I feel bad for girls who look better with not their natural hair color cuz then they just got to do all that upkeep, spend all that money. Not that they have to or anything. Um, isn't shopping for a daisy dress this time of year just looking for a frilly prom dress? <laughs> well, I already have the outfit and everything. It just doesn't really fit me. Just does not really fit me, unfortunately. Um, but that's why I'm gonna go over to a friend's tonight. And she's gonna help me sew. 
sew it, alter it a little. It's only the skirt, really. The top fits pretty well. The skirt is just a little, little wonky. Um, even the eyebrows. Okay, well, see, the thing is, if I just, like, lighten my eyebrows a little bit, I can just, like, you know, make them darker with, like, eyebrow makeup. I can make them whatever color with eyebrow makeup, really. Um... Natural hair color looks, thank you. I just feel like I look better with like darker hair. Like I could probably pull off darker hair colors, but lighter hair colors just, I don't know. It doesn't go, it doesn't really go with my features and whatnot as well. Is my friend cosplaying as well? Yes, yeah, so she's being, um, she's being Zelda. So she's making her Zelda dress and everything. And yeah, she said she's working on it all night. So I was like, oh, it's okay if I come. I'm planning on ending stream, by the way, at like 6.50. Because I told her I would go at like 6.30. And she lives like 30 minutes away. So I'm planning on leaving my apartment at like 7. So yeah, just a little heads up. I'll probably only be streaming for like 20, 30 more minutes. How about ash brown color with blonde highlights? Ew, no. I don't like, I don't like, um cool I don't like ash colors ash brown uh, maybe i don't know what is what does ash brown even look like uh i get that everyone with the asian blood can pull off the blonde yeah i just feel like it's very rare to see an asian girly that looks better with lighter hair than darker hair so i definitely think it's some something about my asian features are being like no blonde hair not allowed I think like a dirty blonde. No, the issue the issue is not necessarily that I look bad with blonde hair. The issue is I look bad with light colored hair. It just washes me out and it just doesn't look very good. Like I feel like cuz I have I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I look so bad with light colored hair. I w I used to wish I could have I did used to lighten my hair a little bit. Maybe I will for summertime. I used to use sun in. I think I still have it somewhere. Even though it's supposed to be kind of bad for your hair. I don't give up. I don't give up. Rosie Blackpink looks good as a blonde. I give her that. See, no, I feel like there are Asian girls that look good as a blonde, but like to look better than with darker hair, I just feel like that's so rare. Like I can't even think of an Asian, like an Asian girly or boy, I guess, that that looks better with lighter hair than darker hair. I just feel like the the darker hair is always gonna I don't know. I mean if you got examples for me. Should I look up her blonde versus not blonde? That's what I think Ashley Brown is, yeah. No, sorry, I was just like responding, not trying to just just commenting more on it with me with looking bad with light hair. I don't know. Ugh. All my nail polish is just coming off. I literally okay guys, I think I'm I think I might give up on my natural nail journey. I might have to just go and get my my nails done with the with the gel X. Because the Gel X is nice. It lasts for a long time. I don't know. I got. Meanwhile, I got all this nail polish peeling off. Like, when did I get my nails done? I feel like, like less than two weeks ago. So why is it coming off already? I don't understand. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you mixed? Yes, I am. I... Oh, there we go. Lamar's got it. We'll, we'll get the command set up on Kick and everything soon. I wonder if I can just export from like Nightbot or Fossa or something to Beatrix. It's a shame I can't just use one of the bots we already have for commands, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta I'll make the kick commands. <laughs> In the meanwhile, yeah, I'll just, I'll just copy and paste commands from Twitch chat. Mods can help out as well. <laughs> um, sun in, you want your hair dry and orange? Bro, my hair looked good as hell with sun in and it wasn't dry or orange. Maybe a slightly, but I like the warm undertones. I don't like Cool blondes. I always will like a warm blonde better. But let's see. Like, OMG. Hello. Let me see if I can find an example for y'all. All right. Um. Um. I have one picture that I'm like. This is a very good. You can really. Wow. I guess this picture is really old, but it's always been my reference. This has always been my reference. This is my hair when I used to lighten it with sun in. Wow. Having me side by side, that's a big difference. <laughs> but yeah, this is me with lighter hair. Um, I just don't think it looks as good. 
as the darker hair on me. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> like, it just, I feel like it washes me out a little bit or something. Oh, my roommate. <laughs> I don't like, we don't like her though. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I just don't think it looks as good. Can I find another example? I mean, you can kind of see how light it is. You know? What do you guys think? I think the darker hair, yeah, like I just feel like the darker hair just looks so much better on me. Um, you look mixed Asian white? Well, that is what I am. You are correct. Oh my god, my freaking new mouse. But yeah, now we got my now we got my dark hair. This is my natural hair. Here's me, me at my birthday party, me with my fairy feast that I hosted. Got my friend with the knife. Me with my birthday cake. OMG! Wow, she a beaut. And my fa my fairy wings. Yes, I had a fairy themed birthday for my <laughs> for my twenty fourth. Okay. Um, no, not childish. Yes, I made all of my friends dress up as fairies as well. <laughs> um, okay. A lot of them, last I checked, weren't integrated into Kick yet. Yeah, I guess there's like some. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they will one day. Um, it does wash your skin out a teeny bit. Yeah, just not as flattering in my opinion. Um. <laughs> I'm sure they had fun to dress up. Wait, fun to dress up? Huh? Um, okay. Sorry, I got like so many tabs open right now. <laughs> What's new though? <sighs> Anywho. Y'all watch that YouTube documentary of Twitch mods? What? No. YouTube documentary? What you talking about? Um, the fairy. Oh yeah, the fairy birthday. Yeah, no, I also made so like for my fairy for my fairy birthday. Um, I made everyone like choose. So I should say made. I had everyone like choose what kind of fairy they wanted to be so one of my friends was like an a beach island fairy one of my friends was like a sunflower fairy another one was like a starry night fairy like i made them choose different themes and stuff like that so that, that way they could have like all different kinds of aesthetics they didn't have to be because not all of my friends have like cute girly aesthetics a lot of my friends i feel like are like all black i don't know they're cooler than me basically <laughs> Um, wait, what? Oh, interesting. This is an interesting room. How is it an interesting room? This is my office where I conduct business. <laughs> this is the business. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, oh gosh. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Ooh. Maybe I should start heading over there earlier because I'm realizing now, do you y'all think there's gonna be traffic? Or do you think the people that got off of work are home already? Anyone come as a garden gnome? No. Okay, there's a little bit of traffic, but not too much. Okay. As and wait, if rush hour, wait, what? Have I ever eaten at the whale in Chicago? No, I haven't. Is it good though? What kind of, what kind of restaurant is it? I'm always down for some restaurant recommendations. I need to revive my TikTok, and I think that's how I'm gonna revive it, guys, is every time I do something fun this summer, I'll make, like, a mini TikTok vlog. So follow me on TikTok, guys! <laughs> um, do you do 5 to 6 is extra traffic hours? Well, it's, like, 6.30 right now. I'd probably be leaving around 7, I'm thinking. Oh, gosh, should I, I should probably eat before I go, shouldn't I? 
OMG. Elevated American food. Went there on Friday. It was like a 9 out of 10. Ooh, what'd you get? And would you recommend it? Um, There'll be traffic until around 6.30. Okay, it's 6.35 right now. So hopefully there's no traffic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Hi, Water Tiger. Hello. Oh, bought three more things for me. OMG, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will update my wish list. People, ha someone hasn't gotten me something off my wish list in a long time, to be honest. So that's really why I haven't updated it in a while. But thank you so much. Wait, now I'm excited to see what, what I'm gonna get. I'll, I'll, I'll start adding stuff to it again, but <laughs> no one was getting me stuff off of it. So I just stopped. I was like, let me, let me take a chill pill and stop adding stuff. Um, I highly recommend I got the rack of lamb. Ooh, I, feel, I do like lamb. I've been really into fish lately though. I don't know. I feel like I've gone to a few nice restaurants and I'll get like the fish on the menu and it's pretty good, pretty good. I really like sea bass now. Um, I've always really liked salmon, but I feel like I can make a good salmon at home. Um, you're about to end stream. Yeah, I'll probably be ending in like, like 10, 15 minutes though. We can still chat a little longer. Any last words, chat? Any questions you're just dying to ask me? <laughs> Rack of lamb is usually great. Rack of lamb, is that like... I think I... I don't know if I've ever... Like what part... Of the, is that like, like their ribs or something? <laughs> My friend got the trout and loved it. Ooh, maybe I will have to try that. Yeah, I feel like I've not really had that many. Like I just never really, I normally, I used to always, always, always get steak. <laughs> I used to always get steak. Anytime I'd go to a restaurant that has steak, I would get steak. But I've been trying to get away from that lately. I've been trying to experiment a little bit more and whatnot. Um, especially cause I feel like it's like, it's easy to make a good steak at home, you know, versus how am I going to make a good rack of lamb? I feel like that's not going to be as likely. Have I checked out the new Victoria Justice? No, I haven't. She came out with a song. I thought she was like, I don't know. Um, don't ask you nothing. Hope you got a good evening. Thank you. You as well. Hi Ryan. Um, no, please don't worry. Is there anywhere I can message you the items I got you? Um, well, you know, I do answer all DMs on, on the first link there. I don't really go on my DMs anywhere else because, because I don't know. I open my Instagram DMs and it's just like jump scare. No, thank you. So yeah, I would say that first link is def. I answer DMs there every day and it's free to follow by the way. Um... How do I like my steak cooked? Medium rare, but a little on the rare side. I always have to say that. I always say that at the restaurant. Whenever I order a steak, I'm like, medium rare, but a little on the rare side, please. Because if I just say medium rare, they always overcook it. But I don't like it rare. I did order steak rare one time and it was like, I was not vibing with the texture. Um, I was not vibing with the texture. But yeah, I do like, I like my steak. I like it with a nice, I don't know, pinkish. I'm doing good, Bruce. How are you? A lot of languages can I count in? Um, maybe a little bit of French, because I took it in high school. I think I can count a little, I can, I use, mm, do I, can I think? Uh, well, I think French and Japanese, probably. I did a lot of Duolingo Japanese, <laughs> but I don't know how well I can really remember. Um, how do I cook steak? I tried making it twice and it was so bad. Oh my god, really? <gasps> Maybe I can make a YouTube video about this. Sorry, I've been like trying to brainstorm YouTube video ideas, but I make good steak. I make good steak. See, that's why I don't get steak at restaurants anymore, because every time I go to a restaurant and I get steak, I'm like, I could make this better at home. Let's see, how do I make a steak? Honestly, I know there's like all these techniques that you can do. I don't use any of them, except for basting, I guess. All right, I just get a regular old pan out. <laughs> regular old pan out. And then I, well, I season the steak with salt and pepper. And then um, a little bit of garlic powder, because I like my steaks garlicky. So a little bit of garlic powder, um, which I used to use like garlic. So what I used to do, which this can come out really good as well. So I used to no garlic powder. I would like use actual minced garlic. And so I just put the steak, 
I, I put a little butter in the pan and then I put the steak in the pan and then I used to like add gar like some fresh minced garlic to it as well. However, I don't know. Sometimes the garlic would like get really burnt in there. You're really supposed to add it at the end. I don't know. So I've just started using garlic powder, which I think tastes just as good. Um, and you don't have to worry about your garlic burning in the pan or anything. Um, and then I literally just like cook it on one side and then I, you know, I'm checking on it. And then once it has a really good sear, then I flip it and then I just cook it on the other side and it always comes out fantastic. Anytime I've ever like had someone try to do like all the crazy cooking methods, like, I don't know, like reverse searing it or like putting it in the oven or whatever, like that shit never comes out good. But I literally just <laughs> like, that's literally how I cook my steak is so easy. Well, and then while it's like cooking, I'm like, basting it with the melted butter and whatnot and then once i like take it out to rest i like dump all the butter on top of it and like let it soak in i don't know i'd be going a little crazy with the butter in the pan but it always comes out so good so good but yeah i'm really just eyeballing things for the most part when i'm making a steak I know there's like so many complicated techniques that people do but yeah i just make that shit nice and simple and it always comes out 10 out of 10 so Steaks are easy to make though. I feel like I need to learn how to cook more, more advanced dishes, you know? <laughs> I love steak with sauteed onion grease. Mm, flash your both sides, then roast in the oven, it's fire. See, anytime I have someone try to do that for me, it just tastes like shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't know though. I, I know, I know there's all these techniques. Anytime I've ever had someone cook a steak with me with all these other techniques, it always comes out worse than my technique. So I'm a stick. I'm gonna stick with the basic salt, pepper, garlic powder, throw that shit in a pan. And butter. <laughs> but yeah, I, trust me, trust me. I feel like it's really not hard though. It's really not hard to make a steak. I don't know. You don't need to do all the complicated methods, I promise. <laughs> well, we can do a, a steak cooking stream so I can show you guys my, my prowess. Um, you can base it with garlic at the end to keep it from burning. Yeah, but I feel like the garlic, like using garlic powder, in my experience, I think it just, I, I think it tastes just as good. Cause I'm not making it super, gar like if I wanted to make like a garlic steak, I probably would like want to use fresh, fresh garlic, but I just like a little bit of that garlic flavoring. So I'm not going too crazy with it, but garlic steak is really good. Oh my God. Fogo de Chao. Anyone, anyone been to Fogo de Chao? I love that place, but their garlic steak is really good. Have a lot of good meats there that's kind of their whole vibe though uh can't go wrong searing some good old salt pepper garlic yeah is it cool if we make a tts aiv so we can always get some quality asmr no it's not cool <laughs> um favorite steak cut definitely filet mignon i i would say filet mignon um Cause it's like small, so I feel like it's like a good size. Um, I feel like I mostly have ribeye a lot now, but it's like huge. Like I feel like when I eat a whole ribeye steak, I'm like bursting at the seams. Oh my God. But yeah, I don't know. Filet mignon, always good. I feel like, and I feel like since I don't really eat a lot in like, I don't know. Like I feel like if you're like a big dude or something, you probably want like a big ass steak. But for me, I feel like the little filet mignon is actually a pretty good size for me. If I have a ribeye, I'll normally like just only eat half and then save the other half, which eh, I feel like reheated steak is never as good, you know, never as good as the fresh stuff. I'm mean, getting cab roast for my stew, honestly, kind of perfect. Ooh. Yeah, I'll need to find some good summertime recipes. I feel like, you know, meat, like that's, I feel like that's a lot of winter cold, cold weather vibes, you know? I mean, what are some good summertime dishes? Something light, something cool. I want to start making like chicken Caesar salad wraps for lunch or something. I really like chicken Caesar salad. So I should probably start eating more of those. I got a, I got a Ninja Creamy <laughs> to make ice creams and sorbets. Mostly sorbets because I feel like I wanted to start eating more fruit, but my fruit was always going bad. And then, I don't know, I kept seeing all these ads for these nin for the Ninja Creamy, so I was like, why the fuck not? And so I got one and I made, I bought this whole thing of mangoes from H Mart. So they were 
really good. And I made this mango sorbet out of it and it's so good. And then you can buy a bunch of fruit and then you just freeze it and then you can make sorbet out of it. And then it's like, you know, you're still eating the fruit, but now they don't go bad as fast because now they're like in sorbet form or whatever. <laughs> So I'm just gonna start getting I'm gonna that's gonna be my whole thing this summer is I'm just gonna every week I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of one kind of fruit and then I'll cut it all up and make a sorbet out of it Maybe not every week. That's kind of aggressive But every now and then once I go through one sorbet, it's like oh time to make another I think for my next one. I want to do a strawberry sorbet I like strawberries but yeah, trying to be healthy trying to be healthy and I don't know I'm like probably should not use much processed food and who knows what they're putting in sorbets and shit nowadays, but I love sorbet. <laughs> I basically wanted a healthy, I wanted a healthy sweet snack that I could have. And I feel like if I have a sorbet that's 100% made of fruit, it's gotta be kind of good for me, right? Like, that's healthy. That's a healthy snack, right guys? Right? Right? <laughs> I guess fruit does have a lot of sugar, even, even though it's like natural sugars. Okay, the Ninja Creamy is great. I have one to do my protein shakes in it, and that's the best. No, yeah, that's another thing that I was gonna do. I was gonna start making like protein, I don't know, like protein ice cream or something. I need to get more, I need to be better about getting, I did work out today though. Worked out today, drank a protein shake, but I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gain weight. It's hard, but I'm like, protein ice cream could be something that works out for me. Um, hi Saberman, hello. Oh yeah, nice early spring shirt. I guess, I guess it is so spring. Honestly, I feel like in my brain, I've just, I've just skipped spring. I just pretend that it's summertime now. <laughs> Fruit also has a lot of fiber and, oh, they are good. Oh, wait, but if I, if I make it into a sorbet, does that destroy the fiber in it? Wait, does that even make sense? Okay, I don't know if I know what I'm talking about, to be honest. Um, <laughs> is your dress still toxic? Who is this guy? He's being so fucking annoying. Let's just get rid of him. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Anywho, <laughs> I love your brutal honesty. I'm rolling. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta be, gotta be straight up with shit. Um, no, I'd have that thing saying, wait, what? Okay, yeah, it's stuff only spring in the Chicago area. I was freezing compared to where I am. Okay, yes, it's cold out, but you know, I'm a hermit, okay? I just look outside and I'm like, it looks nice out there. Although it definitely did not look nice out there earlier today. Oh, it, uh, it's all cloudy and gloomy. I always forget that it gets so rainy in the springtime and I'm like, I don't want, I don't want the rain. I want sunny, clear skies, um, the sun shining down on me. When is, when is it supposed to be officially summer, guys? Is May usually still cold? I feel like I don't even know. <laughs> is May normally cold or not? It was nice earlier, pretty chill. Yeah, I like started setting up stuff for my balcony. I'm so excited. I'm trying to get my balcony all ready for summertime so I can be like hanging out there. And if you guys watch my new ASMR video that I posted earlier today, um, you'll see the sponsor segment. I got a company was kind enough to reach out or not. Yeah, a company was kind enough to send me a patio set. Well, they reached out to me trying to work with me. And normally I like don't accept gifted collabs Cause it's like, bitch, if I didn't want your product in the first place, why would I do work for your product? <laughs> that's, that's, that's normally my mindset when it comes to gifted collabs. Um, however, I did want a patio set. So when I had a furniture company reach out with me, trying to work with me, they're like, we'll send you one of our items. I'm like, deal. I'm like, deal. <laughs> I felt bad, but yeah, so check them out guys. Thanks ye to home for sponsoring there. I loved, I actually really loved the patio set that that they came. The only thing is like the pillows are not super fluffy. I might like buy some stuffing and see if I can like add it so that they're more plush, but great quality. It's out on my pa patio now. Um, and yeah, hopefully. And now I'll be like, I like made it, it was, since it was like a patio, it was like a sectional basically. So you can like organize it in multiple ways, but I just made it so it's like a bed basically. <laughs> so hopefully I'm gonna be like laying out in the sun, tanning, reading, I don't know. I'm excited though. I just want it to be warm and sunny, that's all I want. June 20th is the official first day of summer. June 20th, ah. 
That seems so far away. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it. Am I gonna stream on the balcony? Um, I'd be too worried about, you know, probably not, no. Okay, y'all can already hear the sirens when we're indoors. Now imagine being outdoors. <laughs> That's the one thing about city living, it's just, it's so fucking loud out <laughs> Whenever I like open the window, it's just loud as hell. So not, that's why I've, when I'm going out there, I'm going to be like <laughs> silencing, silencing headphones or, and whatever, you know, and don't, yeah, no, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So sorry guys, probably not much balcony content, but <laughs> my balcony will be for me to enjoy myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I can take some pics out there or something though. Sorry. Trying to, trying to make, we got my polish coming off, so now I'm like trying to reshape my nails. I, I don't, I don't like the square. I tried out the square sh nail shape and I've decided I'm not a fan. I'm gonna go back to rounded or almond. Oh gosh, it's probably time for me to leave though, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it is indeed. It is indeed. I'd go mad living in a big city because of the noise mainly. I mean, I can't really hear much except for like sirens and stuff. I can still hear, but besides the sirens, I can't really hear anything when I have like the windows closed and everything. It's just like when you're out on the balcony, you can just, I mean, yeah, it's just like cars and city sounds. I don't know. Some people like city sounds. Me, not as much. Alrighty, um, I said I was gonna go at 6.50, so I'm one minute late, actually. Um, but I had a good stream, guys! Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope y'all don't mind the shorter stream. I was planning on doing a longer stream tonight, but then I decided that it was best for me to go and do this sewing thing with my friend instead. Um, so that way I'm all ready for this weekend for C2E2, yay! Um, Let's see. I will be streaming on Twitch tomorrow. We're going to be doing my software development class. Um, we're going to be doing a focus stream. So if you've not seen those, it's basically I ignore chat. <laughs> and we all focus together and I'll be doing my class. So if you have something that you need to do, come to my focus stream. We usually do 45 minutes of focus time, 15 minutes of chatting, and I normally try to do at least three cycles of that. Um, so that's going to be the vibe. So if you have shit that you need to get done, come and be productive with me tomorrow. All right. Um, kick. I will be doing my next kick multi-stream um, on Friday, most likely. Um, so yeah. Unless I'm able to find someone to go to C2E2 with me on Friday. In that case, I will not be doing that. But it doesn't seem like I have anyone to go with. So yeah, I'm probably next multi-stream will be on Friday. So kick, I'll see you on Friday. Twitch, I will see you tomorrow. Sound good? When's the new React video? Okay, I have everything filmed. I just need to like edit it. And editing is a lot of work because copyright stuff. Um, posted a new ASMR video today. If you guys want to watch, would mean so, so much to me. And of course, follow my socials. Um, thanks for hanging out with me, even though today's stream was kind of short. I hope y'all don't mind. Since today's stream was short, that's why I wanted to get all dressed up. Short and sweet. All right. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for some focus time. Hour long ASMR, it's great. Yeah, hour long ASMR video. Check it out, check it out. All right, heart, 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 guys. Also, thank you everybody that subbed and gifted subs today. Your support towards my channel is so very much appreciated. Um, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow slash Friday. All right, good night, everyone. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And I'll see 